Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today's video is going to be my very first unboxings of 2021. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I did instant reveals of some of them. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I will link that down below. So before we get started, I'm just gonna share the jewelry I'm wearing. I am wearing my Bulgari B01 collection in the white gold and my little Lola earrings. These are about the only earrings I have been wearing this year so far. So I have a few Hermes items for you and I have my first handbag unboxing of 2021. Before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, my name is Melinda. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new here and haven't done so already, or if you're returning and haven't done so already, I'd love it if you just take one moment, hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you do not miss a video. I have a lot of really fun videos coming up. I did a question on my Instagram, what kind of videos would you like to see? So I'm gonna be doing a lot of requested videos very soon. I feel like a marshmallow today. <laughs> this sweater is enormous, but it is so incredibly comfortable. When I will do mod shots with the bag and I um, am just gonna slip into a plain t-shirt <laughs> because this thing could be a dress. <laughs> it could be a whole outfit by itself. Just put a belt on with it. <laughs> So anyways, let's get into the unboxings. The first item is from Hermes, and I always love their packaging. It's always so beautiful. You have the tissue, and a little dust bag, and I got another um, belt to go with. I got the belt kit last year. Um, prop could be today last year. I don't know. We were in Las Vegas last year the week of Valentine's Day And I knew I wanted another strap at some point and I have been looking for an entire year And I have yet to find one until now that I really really love This one is blue indigo and I think I have the smallest H I'm pretty sure I went for the smallest one because I have a Gucci um, the Marmot belt in the medium like there's a really big a really small in the medium so I wanted a smaller logo but this one here is um, Epsom leather and it is blue indigo and this is blue Frida in Swift this is a gorgeous color so I brought out my original one just to show you because this blue uh, indigo is so dark a lot of people confuse it with black so the black one here is Swift and the blue let me try it this way and the blue one is um, in the Epsom this is the blue so it's a very very deep deep blue but in person I'm not sure how it's gonna come off on the camera but in person it um, it's blue <laughs> so I thought that would be a very nice um, to have a pop of color I really really like the blue Frida a lot so put these down and then the next things I got I picked up a couple of more uh, Twillies for my um, Kelly and for my Birkin. I cannot believe I have had my Kelly for a year now. I really can't. So this is the one I got for the Kelly. I think this is so, so beautiful. I am going to insert pictures of uh, these on the bags. I had them on there the other day and the name of this one is I will never be able to pronounce ever but it's like Novo Amore, which there's an X on the end, so I know I'm, I'm not saying that right. So, but that is what it is. <laughs> this one, this bottom part here is so, so perfect on match of the Kelly. But it's little couples walking along in Paris and it's so cute. And then it switches here the little buildings, the Eiffel Tower, and it says Hermes Paris right there. And then on the back, there is Cupid shooting his arrow. So I thought this is absolutely perfect for this bag and perfect for Valentine's Day this year. Since that was my Valentine's last year, this will be going out with me with that bag on our Valentine's Day date. I just think it's so, so sweet. Just love this one. The other one, I am sorry, whenever I wear lip gloss, I feel like there's hair 
and there's nothing there because <laughs> I just did that. So um, the other one I saw on Instagram and I was really lucky to still be able to find this. Um, several people told me these have been sold out for a long time where they live. And this one is the Three Graces and it is in a dark, dark blue and black. And it says Hermes Paris there. And I love this bottom part where it um, shows on the... Um, the handbag when you have it on there but you go through and it has gold giraffes this gorgeous blue and then it switches here and the giraffes go in different directions and then the back side is like this giraffe print and it is so pretty and I think this is going to be really cute to wear with the blue Frida the belt I love the colors of this one and I got I got two of them also Pull that up really fast because the Birkin has two handles so I did get two of those so 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 pretty very excited to have this so now let's get into the handbag so let's get into the handbag as you can tell from the title it is the Loewe small puzzle bag I tried this bag on in Las Vegas exactly a year ago and it could have been today I didn't look up the dates that we were there my husband and I both looked at it and we're kind of like, eh, there's a reason for that. <laughs> I had gotten my Kelly the day before and I walked over there with my Kelly and I was just so like, wow, with the Kelly and he thought it was absolutely an amazing bag too. And this one is really plain and simple compared to that. So I think it was just the contrast of the timing. But when I went to Las Vegas, I had no idea if I was going to get an offer or not get an offer. And I had, well, I had three bags on my list, a Kelly possibly, um, Trendy CC from Chanel, which is completely off my list, and the Loewe puzzle bag. So I did keep thinking about this bag and I will insert um, pictures from that actual day and you will see why. Like if you had never seen one in person and we're just thinking of it and it's like it did kind of change my mindset a little bit, but not enough because it is here today. So I got it from my Teresa. I'm going to tell you how I saved some money on it too. Um, it comes with this big receipt and it just says being effortless is the coolest thing in the world. Stella McCartney. I love shopping with them. This is my, I've, I've bought something else from them. I've returned it, but this is the second thing that I've kept. It comes with a label, um, which I think is great if you want to return it. And it has a 30 day return policy, which is extremely generous. Um, you know, say you get the bag and you know, you're not feeling well or whatever. You don't have a chance to really check it out or you know, who knows what, but it's a very, very generous return policy. So you do not get the Loewe box. Um, it just comes in the My Teresa box, which is a nice box. It's a nice magnetic opening. And then it came wrapped like this. And there's a little note that just says, thank you. This package has been lovingly wrapped by, and I cannot read the person's name. And then this bow, and it comes with this tissue paper surrounding it to keep it safe. So another thing about this I want to share, I ordered this on Friday night, uh, not night, it's not night at all, Friday afternoon late, um, 3.30ish, yeah, pretty late on Friday. I got a notification on Saturday that it shipped from Germany, this company is in Germany. I got a notification on Sunday that it was in Memphis, so if you live in Nashville and you get anything from FedEx, that is our hub. And I said it would be delivered on Tuesday. I got the bag on Monday. Like to have that happen in the USA is crazy. Like it's, you know, and it was free shipping by the way. So I was a little confused with the dust bag. <laughs> I'm like, that's, you can see how paper thin it is. I'm like, that's not a, a very good dust bag. Here is the information on the bag and the, um, the scan ticket there. You won't be able to see that. Let's get right into it. I have talked too long. I usually try not to be chatty in unboxings, but today I am chatty. <laughs> so I picked up the size small, as already said, and the color is sand and mink. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is so, so, so beautiful. I don't know what I was thinking last year. Well, I do know what I was thinking last year. I just bought Kelly and I just spent a lot of money, <laughs> my husband and I, and I was like, wasn't gonna buy a bag anyways after that. 
but it's absolutely gorgeous. This one has the grained um, calf skin and hopefully you can see that it has the texture to it and this is obviously the sand and then the mink is going to be on the, the um, trim, the handles, the zipper pulls. It is such a beautiful, beautiful bag in person and this leather is just quality. It is so, 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 so nicely made. I'm very, very impressed. I want to show something that confused me when I was purchasing this bag on this part on a lot of videos, and I don't see this particular color that often, but I see uh, on a lot of videos and a lot of websites, it, and like right now, it looks like it's black. It does have black glazing, but when you get up close, it is the same leather. It is the same as this and it is all through there. So it is not as dark as you think it is. Hopefully that is showing because I can't see <laughs> when I have it up there like that. But yeah, I was a little bit concerned about that. I was debating between this one and the color tan. The color tan reminds me a lot of the Hermes gold color. And I get asked a lot what makes you choose another bag? Why do you, you know, buy another bag? Because I do have a pretty extensive collection. So for me to bring another bag into my collection, it has to, to serve a purpose that I don't have in my collection, be a color that I don't have, or if I really, really love a color, I will duplicate it, but I'm trying to stay away from black. Like I do have different shades of blue, but not the same shade of blue. So that's kind of, a part of it. I sold my um, Gucci Soho Disco, which was in a rosy beige color, and I absolutely loved that bag, but I had a Disco bag for so many years. I had a maple color, then I had the rose beige, and then they replaced that one for me because there was an issue with it. But I had that forever, and I just got tired of the camera-shaped bag. So this one is crossbody, handheld, or shoulder and I if you follow me I love bags that you can do multiple things with I just do it's just it makes it so much more functional and I feel like you get your money's worth out of it when you can do multiple things with it money let's talk about money real fast then I'll get into this this bag retails for $2,700 plus my lovely 9.75 percent tax here in the United States um, my Teresa had a coupon going on for a uh, Chinese New Year where you got $200 off of a purchase or $100 off depending upon how much you spent. So I got this one for $2,500, zero tax and free shipping. So that's about the best you're gonna do unless you can find one of these in the sales at the end of the season. And these colors typically do not go on sale. So that is how I saved the money. Now let's get into the features of the bag. It does not have a lot of hardware. It has champagne gold, which is my absolute favorite, favorite hardware. It has contrasting white stitching, and the top handle is very smooth leather. The zipper pulls have the mink color and also with the white stitching as well. This back pocket is really big. I can stick my entire hand in here. You could not fit a phone in here, but I do think you could fit a card holder in here. I am going to turn the camera around and we will see what fits inside of this bag and I will try to stick a card holder or something down in here, a Bastia, just something to see what fits. And um, again, I will do the mod shots of course as well. So I like this one better than the Speedy B25. I sold both of those. So this also is kind of filling a, an area there. Those were three ways that you could wear those bags like this one is, but I like this better. This opening is so much easier and you will see when I put the things in it, it's very, very, very easy to use. I don't have any scissors in this room or I would um, clip this off. This is, um, yeah, um, you have to have that on if you're returning it, but I will clip that off in a minute. I was just thinking, do I have scissors in here? I do not. <laughs> Inside the bag, you have the Reference numbers, it just tells you, which means nothing to me. The inside is cotton and then the numbers of whatever the leather is and the little serial number there and then a little 
I'm assuming, yes, a little care booklet that just says Loewe. Uh, the only logo on the outside is like a blind hot stamp right there, which I like that better than the white one. Um, I worry about if that could peel off or whatever like that. Oh, the side tabs are also in the mink color and they really don't, don't do anything. <laughs> They're just decorative. <laughs> so inside the bag was where the good dust bag was because I was like, I mean, this is, I was like, what is that? <laughs> but this one is a really thick canvas. No logos. Again, you just have right there where it says, um, it says nothing. It's just the Loewe logo. But this one is a lot nicer. And the strap was inside of the bag as well. The strap is in that smooth leather, again, with the white stitching and the gold hardware and it has, let's see, one, two, three, four different marks where you can adjust the strap and it works very easily on me shoulder or crossbody. The only logo you really have on here, the back, you've got the little Loewe in gold and then it also does say Loewe on both of the clips there and that's about it as far as the logos go. The inside makes me happy. I love this. I had this in my um, Gucci. It had the light cotton uh, color lining and it's just so easy to see all of your things inside of there. So I'm really happy about that. There is one slit compartment in the back and then right here it says Loewe made in Spain. So it's a really really supple bag. It, I normally do not notice the smell of leather bags. Like people be like, oh, it smells so good. This is one of the first times I was just like, really, it just smells so good. It is so well made. I'm super, super excited about this bag and to add it to my collection. Let me turn the camera around. Let me show you what fits and show you some mod shots and then um, just gonna give you my initial impressions. Obviously, it has not um, been used, so <laughs> let's turn it around. So this is it on me on the shortest setting, and I think this is a really good um, length for a shoulder bag. If you like your shoulder bags longer, like I showed you, there are many different adjustments, and this is it handheld on me, and this is a very generous um, strap drop here. So if you had a really bulky coat on, um, it's going to be very easy to get over your arm. And this is it on me on the longest setting, and I am five foot six for reference. I do like my crossbody bags to be a little bit lower, and I really, really like this length on me. But again, what's nice, depending upon your height, it is adjustable, which I love that. So I wanted to show you how to uh, attach the strap. The strap needs to go on the back hook and it needs to go from the front to the back. So let me show you that because that was kind of frustrating me when I, um, it was not laying straight and then I figured that out. So from the front to the back, if you just attach it there like that. Okay, so I just brought my um, 7RP organizer over and I'm just going to transfer some things from there into here. The first thing I want to try is this little back pocket and let's see what can fit in there. Uh, here is my YSL card holder. Oh yeah, very easily. That, that would be like if you want it to really get to that fast. That fits super easy. Or let's try... Um, my Hermes Bastia. Yeah, again, very easy. So this definitely can be usable. And I want to show you what's in my Bastia. If you don't have one of these, this is awesome. I'll link it down below. It is a bag hook and it is like super, super heavy weight and holds your bags really nice if you're at a restaurant and need that. So just lift this flap up here and let's see what fits. So I'm going to start with my Saint Laurent wallet and then let's do Louis Vuitton clay with my car keys one of my all-time favorite pieces Longchamp cosmetic pouch 
then let's see let's put in the Louis Vuitton mini pochette and I'm just going to move the clay up here to the front see how that is fitting very easily a uh, full-size package of tissue down there on the side and my Bastia which you know what let's put that back here there we go and sunglasses and my uh, Chanel mirror put that in this back slit compartment here so there you go let me take the sunglasses out just so you can see there is still a ton of room on top you could fit a lot more in here and let's pull it out and just see yeah this is so so much better to me than the speedy bee as far as getting in and out I think the speedy bee is a great bag but this is a lot easier to access your things you don't have to turn everything sideways I mean like this is pretty good sized goes in just like that so that is what fits it's a lot let's zip it oh let's put it all back and zip it just show you that it really does fit a lot and you can still zip it and it's not lumpy sunglasses back in there and zip yeah it is fine not overstuffed at all I love that slouch I really do and something else I'd like to point out this you do not need to use two hands I and mean, this is like such a smooth zipper it's a really really well made bag okay so my initial thoughts about this bag it's very very comfortable it's super super lightweight I love how versatile it is I love how low-key it is I don't always want to have massive logos on me sometimes I do but not always and I plan on using this mostly crossbody I love this top handle so let's say something does fall down into the bottom of the bag and you have to kind of dig for it a little bit a plain crossbody bag you're kind of stuck or you have to lift it up like this but you can do this one you know with your hand and just you know dig around in there the opening is actually extremely generous I mean I have no problem as you saw putting things in straight I have several videos on um, my speedies where they all went in sideways I get asked all the time why I sold those as well same reason as the disco I got tired of them I have wore them and wore them and wore them fabulous bags but got tired of them so I really am happy to have this one I love the color I think it's just such a lovely neutral it's like I don't have a lot of neutrals if you watch me you know that there's not a whole bunch of them but I hope if you're considering this it was helpful and once I have a chance to actually use this out and about you know I will do an updated video later on on that but yeah currently no. and, oh and there's no feet on the bottom um, the larger ones do have feet I actually don't feel like this one needs feet it's um it's very grainy and I just and I don't sit my bags on the floor either that's why I have that little hook in there so anyways I hope you're having a great day I hope to talk to you again very soon take care bye bye